let's talk about the side effects you'll experience when weaning your baby and when you can expect to feel normal again. This is a really important topic to me because after having two babies, I didn't really experience any postpartum, but I did have a lot of really long lasting negative side effects after I weaned both of them. Of course, it's always recommended to slowly transition and wean your baby off, starting to incorporate more solids and then transitioning to night feeds only, and you'll have more mild symptoms, especially when it comes to the physical symptoms like clogged ducts or engorgement. Let's jump right in with the physical side effects. As I mentioned, you can experience breast engorgement, soreness, or clogged ducts, which isn't fun for anyone. In addition, you can experience weight gain. Now I have a very thin frame, I exercise and eat healthy, but no matter what I did, I gained a good 10 pounds after I weaned both of my babies and it was really hard to get that weight off. And of course, you're gonna start menstruating again. Some women menstruate before they even stop weaning and some will go two, three months after they've stopped weaning to have their first cycle. And when it comes to your first menstruation, it could be a lot heavier and more painful than it usually is. A lot of women do also experience spotting and irregular cycles. For me, I'm now six months past weaning my daughter and I still have totally irregular cycles and a lot of spotting and my periods are just all over the place. Number two is hormonal. This was probably the toughest for me to overcome because when it comes to your hormones, it just feels so uncontrollable as far as the anxiety and the mood swings that you can experience. So your prolactin and oxytocin are at high levels when you're nursing. And then when you wean, they completely plummet. So this can lead to extreme PMS symptoms like irritability, anxiety, insomnia, nausea, migraines, fatigue, you name it, it's awful. Third is the mental aspect. So when you wean your baby, it typically signifies the next phase, the next cycle and things. Maybe you're getting back to work or maybe your baby just is ready to eat solids. Whatever the reason is that you're weaning, it signifies a change that can lead to sadness, a little bit of feeling separation from the baby that they're not relying solely on you anymore. It may be harder to comfort your baby because you use nursing to comfort them or put them to sleep in the past. And the guilt could be associated with not knowing if it was the right time to let them wean or feeling like you still wanted to nurse them, but they were ready to wean. So regardless, it's kind of a bittersweet experience overall, which makes the mental part of it pretty challenging. Lastly, when will you feel normal again? So online rule of thumb is that you should start to feel normal within one to three months. As I mentioned, I'm six months post weaning and I still feel like I'm very moody. My cycles, as I mentioned, are still irregular and I have just started to chip away at that weight gain from weaning. So I would say for some people it takes beyond three months because I have never been one to spot or have really short or heavy cycles before. So to me, it just signifies that my hormones are still trying to get balanced back out. And with my first child, my son, I went from four months after weaning to having all of these symptoms to getting pregnant again with my daughter. So I didn't really get to experience the effects of post weaning plateau. And I think there are a lot of women out there that experience negative side effects from weaning and people don't talk about it nearly as much as postpartum is talked about. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and we will look forward to seeing you on the next video.